Good morning. <coughs> Why do you always cough? I always have to cough like right after I start. Anyway, <laughs> so I was hanging out. I love to hang out on Quora and look at uh, questions about hypnosis. And so I found this one this morning that I thought was pretty cool. It is by, oh, wait, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Brian Van Dyne asks, why do I not get hypnotized also when I watch hypnosis being done to a group of people on YouTube since I'm listening to the induction too? Brian, this is an excellent question. This is a very good question. So it, it, it gives us a chance to talk about a really important and misunderstood aspect of hypnotism. Um, in this, this concept of what we broadly refer to as selectivity or expectation, right? You always have the ability to choose whether or not you wish to engage in a hypnotic experience. So there's a context that you're building as you consume your YouTube video, right? You could go to the YouTube video understanding. Now, maybe you didn't say it out loud, but you're understanding, I am here to watch and learn about hypnotism, not to participate in hypnotism. And so there's just sort of an understanding at some level. And so as you watch it, what you're doing is if you're there to learn, you're thinking critically all the time. You're watching. What is, what is the hypnotist saying? What words are they choosing? What's their tonality? Oh, look. And, and there's so much critical thinking going on that you're not able to release yourself from critical thinking and go into hypnosis, right? Now, again, no one ever told you this. This is just what happens. I'm just explaining what happens. When you go into hypnosis, one of the common general ways that we refer to it is a bypass of the critical faculty of the conscious mind, all right? So if you choose to engage in an induction, if you do want to be hypnotized, whether it's with a video, an audio recording, or a live uh, in-person hypnotist, when that induction process begins, if you are really engaging fully in it, you're following the directions, you're following along, and you're not thinking critically about it and picking it all apart and pulling it apart. You're just listening and processing and you go, right? So two different levels of, of brain activity, two different levels of thoughtfulness happening in each experience, and that really determines whether or not you go. Now, it is possible that you could go watch a YouTube video and you could be curious enough about what it's like to be hypnotized that even though you went there initially to watch and learn, if the curiosity mindset takes over, you could go into hypnosis while watching that video. But there would need to be that shift of purpose. And again, we don't always consciously articulate the purpose of why we're doing what we're doing but it's still being determined at some level. There's a, there's a level of thought which is determining why am I really doing what I'm doing right now? And if that purpose were to shift away from I want to learn about hypnotism to I want to experience hypnotism, you could go just by watching a YouTube video. So I hope that explains. Hope that helps you out. Uh, keep coming back here and learning more about hypnosis with besthypnosistraining.com. Thanks so much for the question, Brian.